Hello, this is Nick from Bimpure. We're releasing a brand new free workflow that includes a, a Revit file and Dynamo scripts that allows you to select a wall or openings and frame them with wood elements. You can see there are two scripts. The first one allows you to select an opening, so either a window or a door, and it will place a wood framing family around it. So let's say that I select this window, for example, and I click on Run. Uh, you can see that uh, this family is placed. What's interesting about this one, you can easily move the grip to adjust the position so it can be used with dynamo or these family can also be used as standalone components so this is the first script uh, the second one allows you to frame all the openings in the selected wall so first we'll just make sure that this wall has the correct mark you can see wa02 that's good so now let's select this wall one of the options is that you can include the sills and the plates we let that uh, active then we click on run and you can see that the entire wall, uh, not only this specific opening has been framed, this doesn't include all the studs. So this is more meant for architects and designers who want to see the headers and the, uh, the framing for the openings, but necessarily the entire thing. What's nice about this workflow, if you tab select uh, one of the elements, you can see that the mark values have been filled. So every single piece element in uh, this project is, is filled out with a unique mark value. And then you can see this has the cripples visibility, which are the studs below and above. This can be turned off if you don't want to see them just by going to the type properties and checking this box cripple visibility. What's nice about this workflow as well is if I do a section into uh, this window, for example, you can see everything is framed with the proper symbol with the X. So if you want to do quick sections as an architect, it's a good way to have all the wood pieces in place. Something else that is interesting about it, if you go to the welcome page, uh, the starting view of this project, you can see all the instructions, everything you must follow for this workflow to properly work. But you can also see the include scheduling. So what's nice about it, for example, every uh, wood piece is included in this specified wall along with the length, the depth, the width, and the number of elements along with the unique mark values. And finally, the way that the, this workflow is working, let's copy and paste this wall, for example. This is acquiring the structural depth in the wall layers. So if I am going here and modifying, uh, let's just duplicate this wall. And let's change uh, the value to the wood studs to be uh, a two by six, for example. So this would be five and a half. In this case, if I use this uh, same workflow again for this wall, uh, you're going to see that the framing elements are going to be smaller. So let's check that out. And it also works if the wall has a slight angle rotation. So let's select this wall, click on Run. So you can see this time the wood elements are a bit smaller. They adjust to the structural depth layer of this wall. You can download this entire workflow for free at offsitewood.org. When you go here, click on Download BIM Content. You can see two of them. The other one is the penalized wall framing. But if you go here, you can see uh, all the Revit files. You just need to register, but it's entirely free. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to the BIM Pure YouTube channel.